In this lesson, you will learn how to solve one-step equations. These are equations that take only one step to solve. The goal is to isolate the variable on one side. To do that, we use opposite operations. Let's see how this works with our examples. In our first example, 3 is being added to x. To get x by itself, we do the opposite of addition. We subtract 3, and we subtract from both sides to keep the equation balanced. Whatever operation you do to one side, you must also do to the other side. Now on the left side, 3 minus 3 is 0. They cancel each other out. This leaves x by itself. On the right side, 11 minus 3 is 8. Therefore, the solution to this equation is x equals 8. To check our solution, we plug in 8 for x in the equation and simplify. 8 plus 3 is 11. As you can see, both sides of the equation are equal, confirming that 8 is indeed the solution. Try this one. You might notice that the variable is not first in the equation, but that is totally fine. 5 plus m is the same as m plus 5, just written in a different order. Now you can clearly see that 5 is being added to m. So, to get m by itself, you just need to subtract 5 from both sides. On the left, the fives cancel out, leaving just m. What is negative 1 minus 5? That is right, negative 6. Therefore, the solution is m equals negative 6. To make sure it checks out, plug in negative 6 for m in the original equation and simplify. 5 plus negative 6 is the same as 5 minus 6, which equals negative 1, right? So it checks out. Great. Now, what if the variable is on the right side of the equation? That is okay. It doesn't matter which side the variable is on. We solve it exactly the same way. Here, 13 is being added to p. So to isolate p, subtract 13 from both sides. On the right, the 13s cancel out, leaving p by itself. On the left, 20 minus 13 is 7, right? So the solution is p equals 7. And by the way, if you want, you can always write the variable first. No problem. To check, plug in 7 for p. 7 plus 13 is 20, so it works. Great. Now what if a number is subtracted from the variable? What should we do? Don't worry. The goal is still the same, to isolate the variable using the opposite operation. In this example, 4 is being subtracted from n. To get n by itself, we do the opposite of subtraction. We add 4. And of course, we add to both sides to keep the equation balanced. Now on the left, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. They cancel each other out. This leaves n by itself. On the right, 10 plus 4 is 14. So the solution is n equals 14. Let's make sure it checks out. Plug in 14 for n. 14 minus 4 is 10. So we are correct. Nice. Try this with a variable on the right side. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you found this video helpful so far. It really supports the channel and helps more students learn. Here, negative 2 plus q is the same as q minus 2, just written in a different order. Now you can clearly see that 2 is being subtracted from q. So, to get q by itself, add 2 to both sides. What is negative 2 plus 2 on the right? That's correct. 0. They cancel out, leaving just q. On the left, negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. So the solution is q equals negative 6. To double check, plug in negative 6 for q in the original equation. Negative 2 plus negative 6 is the same as negative 2 minus 6. That equals negative 8, right? Both sides match. That means you got it right. Great. Now what if the variable is multiplied by a number? How should we solve? The goal is still the same, to isolate the variable using the opposite operation. Here, y is being multiplied by 4. To get y by itself, we do the opposite of multiplication. We divide by 4, and we divide both sides to keep the equation balanced. Now on the left, 4 divided by 4 is 1, so the 4s cancel out. This leaves y by itself. On the right, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So the solution is y equals 3. Let's check. Plug in 3 for y. 4 times 3 is 12, and that matches the right side. 
so our solution is correct. Try this with a variable on the right side. Follow the same steps. It doesn't matter which side the variable is on. R is being multiplied by negative 6. So, to isolate R, divide both sides by negative 6. On the right, the negative 6's cancel out, leaving R by itself. On the left, negative 30 divided by negative 6 is 5, right? So, the solution is R equals 5. Let's see if that's true. Negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. Perfect, it checks out. Great! What if there is just a negative sign in front of the variable? That means the variable is being multiplied by negative 1. Here, negative h is the same as negative 1 times h. So, to isolate h, divide both sides by negative 1. On the left, the negative ones cancel out, leaving h by itself. On the right, 19 divided by negative 1 is negative 19. So, the solution is h equals negative 19. Make sure it checks out by plugging negative 19. Negative 1 times negative 19 is positive 19. So it works. Nice. Now what if the variable is divided by a number? Don't worry, the goal is still the same to isolate the variable using the opposite operation. Here, a is being divided by 5. To get a by itself, we do the opposite of division. We multiply by 5. And we multiply both sides to keep the equation balanced. Now on the left, the 5's cancel out, leaving a by itself. On the right, 7 times 5 is 35. So the solution is a equals 35. Let's check. Plug in 35 for a. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Perfect, it checks out. We are almost done. Give this one a try. By the way, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love to help you out. Here, k is being divided by negative 11. So, to get k by itself, multiply both sides by negative 11. On the right, the negative 11s cancel out, leaving just k. On the left, negative 11 times 8 is negative 88, right? So the solution is k equals negative 88. Make sure it checks out. Negative 88 divided by negative 11 is 8. Nice, it works. Now what if the variable is multiplied by a fraction? What do you think is the best way to solve this kind of one-step equations? Here, u is multiplied by 2 sevenths. To get u by itself, we could divide both sides by 2 sevenths, but that would complicate the calculation. Instead, we multiply by the reciprocal of 2 sevenths. To find the reciprocal of a fraction, you just flip it. So, the reciprocal of 2 sevenths is 7 halves. Now multiply both sides by 7 halves. Remember, the product of a fraction and its reciprocal is always 1. So, on the left, the fractions cancel out, leaving u by itself. On the right, 50 and 2 reduce to 25, right? Then 25 times 7 is 175. Therefore, the solution is u equals 175. Let's check. Plug in 175 for u. 175 and 7 reduce to 25. Then 2 times 25 is 50. And that matches the right side. So our solution is correct. Try the last example with a negative fraction. Here, x is being multiplied by negative 1 third. So to isolate x, Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative one-third, which is negative three over one. Remember, when you take the reciprocal of a negative fraction, the negative sign stays with the fraction. Now on the right, the fractions cancel out. The negatives become positive, and we are left with just x. On the left, negative three times 15 is negative 45. So the solution is x equals negative 45. To double check, Plug in negative 45 for x in the equation. Negative 45 and 3 reduce to negative 15, right? Then, negative 1 times negative 15 is positive 15. So it checks out. Great! Now, to learn how to solve two-step and multi-step equations, click on the videos on the screen. You can also find the links in the description or the first comment. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.